rumor has it, rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I am gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. Now, Travis Scott is wanted for questioning by New York PD, NYPD, after a man claimed the rapper punched him in the face at a Manhattan nightclub. Now, it was a sound engineer. Allegedly, Travis Scott was going to do a DJ set. Now, the uh, guy works for Club Nebula in Midtown, and they got into a verbal dispute. They said that escalated into a physical altercation. Now, the 52-year-old victim alleged that uh, Scott, Travis Scott, punched him in the face and did $12,000 worth of damage to an audio speaker and a video screen. I mean, you don't know what's true and what's not true, but it's just hard for me to, you know, believe these stories in 2023 and there's never no video. You know what I mean? In a yeah, nightclub. They, they, there was a little video, but it wasn't uh, of, of him destroying anything. You could just tell Travis Scott was in a DJ booth and it looked like somebody was in the DJ booth and he said, get the F out. That was it. Oh, it don't show him hitting nobody? No, nah, it doesn't show, nah, it doesn't but show him. But I'm saying, like, and we live in an era where, you know, nine times out of ten when you hear stories like that about in a nightclub or at a concert, if it really went down, there's going to be some type of video. Whether it's video of the actual incident or video of the aftermath, something. Right. Now, Andy King is back. You remember Andy King? Come on, man. How can you forget Big AK, man? That's Big AK, bro, bro. Now, if you don't, don't remember Andy AK. King, he was part of the whole uh, fire Festival. and One of the most loyal humans you would ever want to meet. When we talk about having somebody on your team that's going to take one for the team, this man is one of those individuals. Yeah, so let me help y'all refresh. So the fire Festival, of course, was a, a, a cluster F, and they couldn't get water over, and they didn't have enough money to pay to get the water over for the people. So Andy used his head. No, Andy was going to give some Of course, had said to Billy and the gang, you need to pay us $175,000 in cash today for us to release the water. Billy called and said, Andy, we need you to take one big thing for the team. And I said, oh my gosh, I've been taking something for the team every day. He said, well, Damn. you're <laughs> our wonderful gay leader. And if you will go down and suck Cunningham's <laughs> who's the head of co- uh, customs, and get him to clear all of the containers with water, you will save this festival. And I literally drove home, took a shower, I, 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 I drank some mouthwash, and I got to his office fully prepared to suck his Man, drop on the clues bombs for Andy King. Man. Why is there no statue of Andy King built yet? <laughs> <laughs> How is there not a statue of Andy King built with the mouth open? Make one of them little fountains where the water shoots out? I guess Yo, the, water, the water would probably have to shoot, <laughs> shoot in. in. The water would shoot yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, that, Damn, that, Andy. that's not why I'm bringing Andy up. I'm just you know refreshing who Andy is. Well, it seems like Billy and Andy are back, and now they are selling cheese sandwiches for a good cause. Andy. Oh, my God. Billy, round two? Yes, but first, we're going to Coachella. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, wait. This didn't go so well last time. Breaking news, Billy McFarland's fire pig fights model bump. And there's so much that can go wrong. Not this time. Lincoln bio. Cut. Well, they have a new venture. They're selling grilled cheese sandwiches, uh, a place called Seven Street Burger in New York City. So and Andy said, if you don't like his cheese sandwiches, he'll suck it. What? That's the consolation prize. <laughs> what? If you go, he, 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 he believes these sandwiches are so good that if you don't like this grilled cheese sandwich, he'll suck you. Oh, okay? Right. So don't all you kinky people, don't go there biting into them sandwiches, acting like you don't like them. Okay? Jesus Christ. All right. And lastly, I don't know if you guys watch uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Do you, Charlamagne? No. Okay, well, Drew Sedora, she's on the show. I, I think you know Drew. She's uh, Not only is she on The Housewife, she's also an actress. She's been in the game, uh, Step It Up, and a host of others. She is filing a divorce from her husband. Now, Tell me she- more, girl. What else you got? Tell me more. Give me the details of this tea. Okay, well, Drew Sedora has lodged a- a- allegations against a strange husband, Ralph Pittman, claiming in an amended divorce filing that he's a serial cheater girl and... An adulterer. I thought that's the same thing. But uh, that he abused her, abused her mentally, financially at one point, and got physically aggressive. So right now it's in court. Let me tell you how petty it is, child. Uh, she filed for divorce at 12. He filed at 1 o'clock. So it's nasty in Atlanta. You know what, though? That is a good point that's you just Atlanta made voice. about adultery, man. What's that? You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know why they say adult, like adultery and cheating are the same thing, right? Yeah. So what if I don't know the definition of adultery and I get accused of adultery? And I'd be like, I did not do adultery. I cheated. 
you're gonna sound stupid. You're gonna like sound you, stupid. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I wonder what's mm-hmm. the difference. What's the difference between adultery and cheating? Nothing, right? I don't can't be, think but so. it, adultery just sounds worse. It just sounds worse in a deposition. It does. They committed adultery. It does. All right. Well, I mean, I, I I watch the show, so I hope they get it back together. I know sometimes on these shows, you know, it shows the negative side and not always the positive things of these shows because it's drama at the end of the day. It's a reality show. But I hope they do get it together. I hope they're able to work it out if that's what they both want. And salute to both Drew and Ralph. Man, go back to Andy King. Did we ever find out if Andy King had actually had to give fellatio to that person? Did that ever happen? No, nah, he didn't do it. He t- remember, he said he wanted, he, well, not he wanted to do it. He was going to do it, and he didn't have to. Oh, he didn't have to again. Mm-mm. All right. I just want to, you know, I want to talk to Andy King one day and just, I want to know how he got to that point in his life where he was just always willing to lay it on the line. Because you don't, you don't just get to that point as an adult. This had to start in childhood where he was willing to just lay everything on the line for his people to make things happen. Yeah, I mean, Them you the don't kind have, of people you want on your team, man. Yeah, you don't have people like that anymore that's willing to, you know, to do whatever oh, it man. takes to get things to done. To take one big thing in the mouth Whoa. for the whole team. <laughs> Whoa. That's what he Whoa. said. That's what they said. I was just well, you know, when we were hiring for the Breakfast Club uh, a couple of months ago, I was wondering why why Andy didn't fill out for that application. We would have hired Andy on the spot. You, you, you just play too much. I'd be playing, but then he played too much. You know Are you not saying? serious? I'm serious. I like Andy. Well, not like that, but wow. You, you know what? Forget it. Where your son at? Logan. Forget it. Logan. Forget it. Logan, Forget it. man. Forget you need to give your daddy some body shots when he get home, man. See, I'll be playing, but then he jump Forget out it. the window for no Forget damn reason. It. You yeah. ever seen them videos with a guy uh be pranking people? And he be acting like he wanna fight and then he get naked? <laughs> you know what, what I'm saying? You never seen the video? No. But that's that's you. You know, know what I'm saying? We playing the prank, we run up on the dude, act like he wanna fight, but then you take it too far and get naked in front of the person for no damn reason. Nobody got time for this, man. All right. Well, that is your rumor report. Who are you giving that donkey to? Man, four after the hour, we need a, a brother named Victor Don Juan Medina to come to the front of the congregation. We would like to have a word with him. I know that sounds like a name that would be hosting a quiet storm somewhere. Yep. But nope. Victor Don Juan Medina, uh, he committed a robbery. We'll discuss. All right. We'll get into that next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.